Hello nerds, today we're going to be figuring out why our resource pack isn't working. If you got this video, chances are I just sent it to you randomly without context after you asked something like, hey, I'm making a resource pack and it's not working. Alright, so let's figure out why it's not working. First of all, it's a feather. Alright, well, that can mean many things, but the first one is, turn on your resource pack. <laughs> I don't mean to insult your intelligence, it's just, this is actually a common issue. This video is very much scripted, and all of the problems are problems I've run into before, and some of them are really complicated, some of them very easy. Alright, well we turn on the resource pack, but now it's a bad item. So this can actually be hard to debug. I have a tip though. So if we close our game, ooh, behind the scenes, and go back into Minecraft, you can see that in the bottom left, we have a settings option once Minecraft decides it can load. So in the bottom left here, we click settings and we turn on this output log option. I already had it on, but you won't. So make sure you go into settings and turn on output log. So back in Java edition, we can now start. And since we have the resource pack on, we'll see a log and hopefully some errors. Okay, so here's our log, and our game's loading up, and already we do see some red. So before we even go into game, let's turn off info and just focus on the warnings and errors. Okay, so the error is obviously the most important thing, so we'll even turn off warnings. But warnings can be very useful, so don't turn them off. Right, because right here, this is actually an error that we can fix. So something for you to figure out later but for now just errors we have malformed json which means that our dot json file is broken and it has an error on line 93 okay so if we go into our resource pack and we go into our feather file here we say feather.json so if we go into our feather file and go all the way down to line 93, we see that there's an error. So actually the error is on line 92 at the end. You see we have this trailing comma. If you're in just notepad, you're not gonna see that error. This last line cannot have a comma. This is by far the most common error I see people make. All right, well we've, re we've removed it. So now we can save, control S, I'll get rid of that, and now we just need to reload the pack. So I'm going to clear the logs, turn warnings back on, and let's re-enable the resource pack. So we have to turn it off first, click done, because that will unload the resource pack. And you can see Minecraft has some warnings already, that's okay. Uh, then go back into resource packs and reload it. You have to go through this process of reloading it, else it won't actually reload. Alright, so now we don't have any errors in console. We have a few warnings, but let's just ignore those for now, and we'll go into game. So did this fix all of our problems? Uh, no. <laughs> well, it partially fixed them, because now instead of a pink and black checkered box, we see this scope reticle, which is interesting, because why is the scope reticle there? <laughs> uh. If we go back into our resource pack and check out our custom model data at 5, it definitely should be an AK-47, right? So what's going wrong here? This error is actually really hard to figure out, and it's even weirder when you go web mechanics get then all guns. You can see that every single gun with a model is a scope reticle. So actually... What the error is, is the sorting method used in our resource pack. See these negative options? Right, since this is negative 1, negative 10, actually, negative 1000 is a smaller ne number than, you know, negative 1. Right, and we have to sort them by their custom model data. Now, why we have to do this? I don't know. Go bother Mojang, they wrote some shitty code. <laughs> Alright. But now, we have to take into account these custom model datas, right? So if we 
Remove that and move them all the way to the top. Now these negative numbers should work no problem and they shouldn't interfere. So how did I figure that out? Uh, I figured that out because I tested it for a long time, but also whenever you can think of it as Minecraft goes through this file and goes from top to the bottom and tries to load it in order. So since negative 1000, which is the smallest number, was all the way at the bottom of the file, it only ever loaded this one line instead of the whole resource pack, which is crazy. <laughs> so now once we save and reload, go through the process, right? We have to disable it first and then re-enable it. We're going to see that our weapon models are actually pretty correct. But... Once I start sprinting, we have another issue, right? So remember how weapon mechanics actually changes your model based off of how you're moving, but it uses the resource pack to do this. So weapon mechanics isn't actually broken. This is still on the resource pack side. And how can we test this? Well, if we go into, a in, if we go into the command block, we have this command here that tests the NBT. And if I hold a gun, start sprinting and then activate this command block now i can check console and you can see that the uh, custom model data was 2009 so if we go into file and see 2009 right here it should have been the desert eagle sprinting right that should have worked so what's the error well uh, if you're paying attention, you'll know the error. The file's not sorted, right? Minecraft's going through the file. It loads this one, this one, this one, because they're in order. And then it goes one, two, three, four. It goes in order, and it skips all of these sprinting models. So the only sprinting model that gets loaded is this DP12, because it's the only one that's in order. <laughs> I know, Minecraft sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> So all of our models now need to be adjusted. And you saw a sneak peek into another error I baked in. We'll deal with that later. All right. So I'm not going to bore you guys. I'll fast forward through this. But we have to change these to be in the correct order. Okay. Now we've reorganized our files. So I believe everything's in the correct order. Though, I'm not going to check that too hard right now. One quick thing, though. We have two errors here. We have to have a comma at the end of every line, except the last one. And I'll just delete this empty space. Though empty space doesn't matter. Just for formatting. Alright, and now we'll save that. And we'll go back into game. We'll go resource packs. Unload. Done. Resource packs. Reload. Done. Okay. So now, once we hold our gun, it appears to be the correct weapon. And now when we sprint, okay, it stays the correct weapon. And now when we scope, alright. So it seems our weapons are mostly back, in, back intact. But, we have an error here. <laughs> Now this one's a bit more manufactured. You'll see that you have a red AK-47, and then it's when you sprint it turns back into a normal one, when it should be a normal AK-47 the whole time. So what's going wrong? Uh, if we go step on our pressure plate, and then check the console output, or if I just... <laughs> I don't know why I made that so complicated, or if I just run the command myself. Uh, we can see that the custom model data is 5, and if we go into File, and we check the 5 custom model data, it's actually pointing towards AK-47 Red. We don't want it to do that, so we delete it. But, we probably wanted our original AK-47 to be red, but down here in the red skin, so let's make that red. And then we can save. And if we reload the pack,
see how it works. Okay, and there's one other note before I finish off this video. It is very easy to use bad characters in here. Alright, so try to avoid nesting too many folders, right? We have one custom folder, weapons. You should not be having folders for each individual gun. That might cause issues, right? You should use English characters, all lowercase, English num or Latin numbers, and underscores. Nothing else. Do not use dashes. Do not use periods. Do not use uppercase letters. Just lowercase letters, numbers, and underscores. And that should fix most of your problems. All right, I think I've covered just about everything I can, but if you're a Weapon Mechanics Cosmetics user, you're going to want to update your crossbow.json as well. All right, so all we're going to do here is copy all the way up to the override section, and we'll go back into file and check out the crossbow.json. And you'll see that this, this has all the errors our previous file had, right? Everything's out of order. So we're going to keep this predicate stuff, right? Keep the vanilla crossbow stuff. But all of our custom stuff, we're going to delete and paste our fixed resource pack. And we'll save that. And I can't test this without a second account, and I'm not signing in with a second account. So we're just going to assume that that worked. <laughs> All right, well, that's all of your resource packs troubles hopefully solved. If you're still having trouble, I recommend looking at this log here and trying to find any warnings or errors that could potentially point you in the right direction. Sometimes it doesn't cover everything, like that sorting issue, but it's definitely a useful tool that should fix most of your errors especially if you have the pink block or the pink model glitch. This will definitely fix those. All right, good luck.